Agricultural Bank of Namibia's Agri-Advisory Services Division offers training to farmers and bank clients in various farming enterprises in all 14 regions of Namibia through face-to-face -face sessions. The AgriLearn online platform will share production content on various agriculture farming enterprises to build the knowledge of farmers from all walks of life. Join us as we embark on this virtual journey towards sustainable farming as we zoom into the basics of rangeland management. Good day, farmers. My name is Erastus Ngaruka. I'm the technical advisor for livestock and rangeland management in AgriBank uh, within the division known as Agri Advisory Services. So today we are going to talk about grasses and we are going to talk about the lifespan of the grass species that we have. All right, we have two categories. We have perennial grass and we have annual grasses. So the annual grasses are those that live for a very short period during the rainy season and then after the season they disappear or they die off. Whereas a perennial grass is, that, is the one that lives longer than that. It, have a, it has a longer lifespan for more than one year and can be two, three years or more. All right, uh, these grasses differ in their structure. If you look at the root system of an annual grass, it's very short and simple, whereas a perennial grass has a deep root system. So I would like to show you uh, that difference. We, I will uproot one or two uh, species here for you to see. Okay, if you look at this, this grass, this is Porgonathia flecky. It's one of the annual grasses. Okay, and if you look at the root system, See how simple and the roots are also very thin. So I can easily uproot this grass. So these grasses live for, for a shorter period. Uh, maybe by August, July there, they just disappear. And then the next annual grass, this same grass will only grow from the seed. So they shed their seeds and then the mother plant dies. Okay, looking at the perennial grass. See the difference? The perennial grass have a very deep root system, uh, also complex, and it's also difficult. You could see how I'm struggling to pull it out. So these roots have to go as deeper as they can to extract moisture, to extract soil nutrients and so forth. And then it has to grow very big. See all this volume? So it takes longer to grow, about three months. Then it matures and also produces seeds and could be ready for, for grazing. So these perennial grasses do not die. They only lay dormant. So at the end of the rainy season, when they, when they start to dry up, they withdraw their nutrients and store them below here, below, below the ground, in the root system. And then they shed the seeds. So the next perennial grass will also grow from the seed that was shed. And then again, from the mother plant, it will regrow. So new tillers will start forming uh, in the beginning, at the onset of the rainy season. So these are the grasses that we need to also maintain we need to have a good stance of these perennial grasses on our grazing areas because they also help us, they protect the soil. They uh, prevent soil erosion and so forth. So it's better to have more perennial grasses than annual grasses on your farm. Otherwise, if you have only annual grasses pre uh, dominating, so what if they die by the end of the season? Then you have almost nothing on your grazing area. So please let us uh, maintain good stance of, uh, or a heavy density of these perennial grasses. Okay, and even in terms of utilization, uh, these grasses, we have many perennial grasses in terms of species. We have Sencres ciliares, for example, we have uh, Smithia papaphoroides, we have Antephora. So amongst them, they are also those that the animals prefer more than the others, even though they are all perennial. It doesn't mean that all perennial grasses are desired by animals. We have the bad ones. Uh, uh, the ones that the animals don't like at all, like the Smithia, uh, the uh, Aristata stipitata, for example, because it's also difficult to, for the animal to eat, okay? So let us always maintain good perennial grasses. We need to identify all the good species and have them on our farms. We can either propagate them, plant them, or reseed our rangeland by collecting the seeds from the good perennial grasses. That's it for now. Join us next time for more valuable insights. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to avoid missing out on new content. Also, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram pages for more content.